Hey YouTube, Copperstan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out all the new events that got released with the rocking revamp update to see which ones are worth your time and gives out the best rewards. With the Destiny patch ending, there still are a few things you can do before everything really goes away. The Destiny event stores will stay available for a few more days until the 4th of September until reset. So if you still have any coins left, make sure to spend them before the stores truly go away. Also, for the Maplers who created characters in the Burning World, make sure to transfer those over to the regular servers if you did hit the level 150 requirement. Else, unfortunately, those lower level characters will be completely and utterly deleted. You have until November 15th before the maintenance to transfer your characters. Also, good news for those Maplers already looking forward to the next updates. Thanks to all the new events, we can now estimate when the next updates will be released. The Tobin Hair Hero event ends on the 4th of October, so we can expect the next big update to happen most likely on the 5th of October, that's the one with the Night Troop event. And with the Fairy Bros event ending on the 15th of November, we can expect the Ignition update, that one includes the Nidal Signatory Master and Hyper Burning burning up to level 250, to be released around the 15th or 16th of November. Speaking of Fairy Bros, let's cover this event first. This event is pretty standard, stay logged in for an hour, claim a stamp in your login calendar and boom you're done. Stamps collected on weekend days count double and stamps that you missed out on can be bought for 3000 maple points each. The entire event lasts 10 weeks and 6 days and includes 22 weekend days. So after some quick math that's uh, probably wrong somewhere somehow, Mayplus can get a total of 98 stamps, at least according to my calculations. So if you miss 8 normal days or 4 weekend days, you'll still be able to get all rewards, no worries about that. Rewards include cosmetics, hair and face coupons, level up potions and more. Rewards on day 81 and 90 are of course the most awesome. I really want that unit damage skin from day 81. And that final reward, the day 90 reward level up potion works up to level 250 I believe. So that's a must get as well. The extreme growth potion reward from day 45 are those bonk potions that can be used only between level 141 and 200. And reward anywhere between 1 and 10 levels depending on the level of your character. Next up is this Spiegelmann Starlight Box event that I will most likely not complete because I'm going on a one week vacation this Saturday so I, I just can't make it. But this event is pretty simple, hunt 2000 monsters around your level and you'll get a reward. The rewards are pretty nice and include some level up potions that I'm pretty sure anyone will appreciate. You need a total of 9 days to complete this event. There's also a special mission that is worded a bit weirdly in the game. But once you complete all 9 days during the event a special mission will appear. This one has you hunt just more monsters, it's uh, again hunting. For 2 15 minute triple EXP coupons though, so that's pretty nice. And the final bigger event that we're getting for now is the Maple Popstar Dreams. Once you start this event, you can start collecting love from fans. You can collect up to 100 love per day from monsters around your level. So I guess the monsters that you de defeat are your fans, I guess. You can use this love to unlock your chair in the event UI and level it up once per day by consuming 30 love. With each level up, more stages of the chair unlock and those can all be customized. It'll take a couple of days to unlock everything though. Thankfully, we got until the end of the month to fully customize this chair to your liking. It will cost 10 love to customize one part. But wait, there is more. Almost every level up you'll do, by giving love, you'll get a reward. Those rewards are triple XP coupons on day 2 and 11. Day 7, for example, gives out a few damage skins, a Yeti slime damage skin, pink bean damage skin. If you need a weird face, make sure to complete up to day 13. Day 17 will give out an EXP node stone. And the final day rewards 5 Karma Black Rebirth Flames. So there are plenty of rewards to grab besides the customizable chair as well. Two weeks from now another event will start that has you again defeat 2000 normal monsters per day and various bosses to collect memories of battle. Those can then be used to level up a special skill tree that your characters can use to get stronger. This event is called the Tobin Hair Hero Special Private Course and it's a good warm up for the Nitrope event that will start early next month. And that's it already for today. I hope you enjoyed the events and everything was useful and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Thanks to Niels de Konek, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safronix, Anwar NHI, Ziggy Deer, Fliliet, Knifesu, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord and the Score MS, CMAX, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Radical Jaws, Riser Aryu, Gummy Bullet, Lovebird, 32655, Matteo Simonson, Mr. Nar, Kalando Balavia, PC Game Life, Dante Victory, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, I'm Disappointed, Lucky Beats, Gable Eck, Pedro Benedetti, Conrad Castales, Ace 
Light, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Doc on a Talker Box, Muka 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Pris Killa, Brennan Cam, Shake One, Vake Botnet, Feco, Gianfranco, Calderon, Canavero, Necrodart, Matthew Death, Only, Rashid Almarudi, and Emperor Chad. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!